This video illustrates the use of the Michigan Groundwater Management Tool, MGMT, to delineate groundwater flow directions using extensive hydrogeologic data from Michigan's massive statewide groundwater database. MGMT uses more than half a million water well records in Michigan and other hydrogeologic data available to quickly and efficiently create a map of hydro hydraulic head contours in any part of Michigan. This example uses this approach to map the flow directions and thereby use particle tracking to line, delineate a contaminant plume in Atrium County in northwestern Michigan. The plume delineated using this approach is compared to that delineated by traditional methods, that is, by collecting extensive site-specific data. The plume de delineated by the data-intensive approach of MGMT compares favorably to the traditional approach. MGMT also allows reverse particle tracking, which can be used to identify the source of contamination. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Upon opening MGMT, we see the MGMT interface with the map of Michigan shown in the display window. The data layers shown to the left list all of the different layers of data that are available in Michigan. The top of the window shows the various tools available to process, visualize, and analyze the data. 2. The map is zoomed in to focus on the area of interest, Atrium County. Three. In the data layers, expand and check the Potential Contaminants group and check the Plume layer. This displays a polygon in Atrium County that represents an existing contaminant plume delineated by traditional data collection. 4. Zoom into the map to focus on the area around the plume. 5. Click on the Create Polygon raster and while holding onto the Alt button, draw a rectangle around the area containing the plume. 6. A Model Options window will appear which has a number of options including number of grids NX and NY to discretize the area into and the corresponding grid cell size, effective porosity, molecular diffusion coefficients and local dispersivities, the data used to interpolate the hydraulic head contours in this area, the interpolation method used and the resolution of the interpolation, and the number of smoothing iterations. 7. Under Scale, select the 540 meter resolution. 8. Two methods are available for interpolation, namely inverse distance weighted or non-stationary Kriging. Both methods can use either 30 or 50 nearest neighbors to perform interpolation. Under Method, select inverse distance weighting with 30 neighbors. 9. Under Source, select all rivers, big lakes, wells with outliers removed. This data combination uses all rivers, big lakes, and a combination of water wells in which those wells whose water levels are outliers have been removed. Under Smoothing, select Pass 10, that is, the interpolated heads have been smoothed through 10 passes of a low-pass filter. 11. Click Apply. 12. A flow field showing hydraulic head contours appears. The colors red and blue refer to high and low heads, respectively. Water flows from high to low in a direction perpendicular to the head contours. Click on the Place Particle by drawing a polygon and draw a polygon near the source of the plume. After drawing the polygon, check the Display Particle Path on the right hand side. 14. Click Start Running Model. This will start the evection of the particles along the flow directions. Notice that the plume delineated by the particles is very similar to the existing plume delineation. 15. Click Stop Running Model. 16. Click Remove All Particles. 17. Click Refresh to refresh the image. 18. Click Place Single Particle on the map and click to create multiple particles at the downstream end of the plume. 19. Click Reverse Running Model. Notice that the particles all track back to the source of the contamination.